Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE biology lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 2.2, size of specimens. As always, we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll cover absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. For this short topic, you need to be able to state the formula magnification equals image size divided by actual size, calculate magnification and size of biological specimens, and for extended, convert measurements between millimetres and micrometres. Most most cells are invisible to the naked eye and can only be studied with the assistance of a microscope. The lenses of a microscope are usually marked to indicate their magnifying power. This tells you how much bigger the image will be compared to the specimen's actual size. For example, a 10 times magnifying lens will provide an image 10 times larger than the specimen being observed. Now since the light microscope is both an eyepiece and an objective lens, the magnification of both needs to be taken into account. For example, if a specimen were viewed through a 10 times eyepiece and a 20 times objective lens, it would appear 200 times larger than its actual size. In exam questions, you may be asked to calculate magnification from a drawing or photo micrograph. If so, you'll be provided with two pieces of information, the size of the specimen in the image, or the observed size, and its actual size. The equation for calculating magnification couldn't be simpler, but before entering the figures provided, you need to make sure that the units of both sizes are the same. In this case, the image size or observed size has been given in centimetres and the actual size in millimetres. As there are 10 millimetres in a centimetre, simply multiply the image size by 10. Now that the units match up, we can add these figures to the equation and calculate, giving us a magnification of 12 times. In addition to calculating magnification, in your exam you could also be asked to calculate the actual size of a specimen, given an image and a magnification number. First you'll need to rearrange the equation so that actual size equals image size divided by magnification. Then you simply enter the figures provided, giving us an actual size of 0.005. Now when you give your answer, make sure you quote the units, which will be the same as those used for measuring the observed size, so in this case centimetres. Okay, so that's everything you need to know for the core section, so we'll move on now to the extended content. So far we've used millimetres and centimetres as units, but in order to measure much smaller specimens, for example the organelles in cells, micrometres or microns are used. There are 1,000 micrometres in a millimetre, so in order to convert millimetres to micrometres, simply multiply by 1,000. Equally, if you were asked to convert micrometres into centimetres, you'd need to divide by 10,000. Let's work through an example of an exam question involving micrometres. Just like before, you start by making sure that your units are the same for both sizes. So in this case, the observed size given in millimetres should be multiplied by 1,000. Now that both sizes are in micrometres, you can input the figures into the equation and discover that a 2,000 times magnification was used to generate this image. Well done, you've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 2.2, size of specimens. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate your subscription, and I'll see you next time for topic 3.1, diffusion.